shows or events and anything like that. Car shows, stuff like that. What are we getting ready? The meat All right, let's show them. So this is our enclosed. 20 foot. 20 foot by 8 foot. By like, I don't know, a little over 6 foot tall or something. That we haul it to the show good. So we'll show you how we get it all ready here. I'm going to turn the camera over to Wee Pete's mom and she can show you. Down for transport because I had to add, I had to add a bigger piece of plywood along the one for a smoother transition for the weak piece and sell over the ground. Hey, this is my camera. Give it a pause. I grab my hand. Alright. Yeah, let's wrap this up, Richard. Where are all your lights from? 
um, all of our lights are from Rockworks. Um, we made our headlights. And yep, the headlights are just uh, little work lights that we got from Four Safe. Um, and then we put the little visors on them and put LED bulbs in them. Mm -hmm. uh, the bumpers, a miniature American Eagle. From made Roadworks. It. Roadworks. Mm -hmm. stainless, made out of stainless steel. Um, we made the custom double watermelon bumper lights and the air cleaners. We made the air cleaners out of 5 inch aluminum tubing. This is actually screen door insert with the magnetic tops. Uh, magnetic dishes that we took the magnets off, polished them. Um, we'll let Rooster hop inside and we'll show you the interior. Um, I was eight year old, eight years old when it was 95 percent of where it's at right now, and now I'm 10, and I'm about to be 11. And we made this thing so grown-ups can get in it too. I'll show you. Steering wheel comes out. Quick detach steering wheel. Then we got our. Uh, and we got our dash, we got up with stickers, we got our... So down there, your feet, an adult's feet can go all the way to the grill. Mm -hmm. And there's room on both sides. There's the throttle pedal right there next to Rooster's right foot. Yep, and then what does the shifter do? Uh, it's actually my brake. How's it work? So once you push it push forward, it forward the disc a, back there. Got a link, yep, goes back to the caliper. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead and put your steering wheel back on. And then we'll talk about all the switches and everything, what everything does here. All right, all right. steering wheel's on. All right, let's talk about your gauges. What do you got going on here? All right, so this is uh, my air for my horns. Your train uh, horns? Go ahead yeah. and turn your dash stuff on. Oh, everything? Yeah, not your headlights. Oh. Yeah. That's your volt. That's his voltage gauge readout. Mm -hmm. It doesn't pick it up on camera though, but it's saying it's like right. All right, tell us what everything else does. All right, so then these two are my headlights, and then this is my. Uh... He's got high beams and low beams. Mm -hmm. Let's sh show us the high beams and low beams. Let's see your low beams. Yep. How about high beams? How about both of them together? There you go. All right. Then this is what builds my air. That's your compressor? Yep. From Vi Air? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's hard to see it there. There, there it is. Yep. Yep. And then this is my train horns. That's the solenoid, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Actual Peterbilt key. Good friend of ours, Chris Riker, he uh, made that key for us to fit the ignition for the motor. So, and then that, what's that little short switch? This is my bumper. That's your foot bumper. Yep. Okay. And then that's just a decorative panel we put in there. There mm -hmm. actually is the two 12 volt lawnmower style engines, or I mean, uh, lawnmower style batteries in there. Excuse me. And then the interior. Who's the interior by Rooster? Um, Easy P Interiors. They oh, yeah. They hooked me up. Oh, yeah. They, they knocked it out of the park. Check it out. It's even got a little acrylic Wee Peat backlit with blue glow. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they killed it, man. They do awesome work if you ever need an interior. Get a hold of them over there. There's a easy peat interiors. And then uh, the little gauge bezels, those are for three quarter lights that I trimmed out. I cut out the centers to fit the gauges, silicone them on. And then that's a custom made little flamingo that I made to match the one I run in my truck. Mm -hmm. It's on right now. Is it on right now? Mm -hmm. It don't look like it. Oh yeah, it is. It's on. Yeah. Anyways, miniature dice. Match dad. Does your CV work, Rooster? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Stereo. We're getting right at the book to the trailer. Now we got a little more bass here. Blue watermelons, roadworks watermelons. Alright. Let's talk about the engine. Alright. What is it? So it came off a a, a generator. It's a diesel single cylinder air cooled generator motor yep mm -hmm. and then we just uh cut the shaft down made our own key slot in it put a centrifugal clutch on it that's what powers it um the matter pillar the whole joke behind that is we actually got this motor from a friend of ours his name was matt and uh he called and said he had the perfect engine for this little truck build 
And I said, nah, man, I'm just going to put a little Predator 12, 212 motor on it. And he's like, no, you don't understand. This thing's diesel. I'm like, well, how big is this thing? He's like, it's not that big. So uh, he sent me a video of it just puking black smoke. And we thought, yeah, we need it immediately. And this is actually, this header pipe right here is actually the fill tube off of my 3406 C model mechanical cap motor. So it's got real cap parts on it. it it's plumbed in. Y piped right there. Goes to both stacks. That is real set inside the stacks. So that's how she smokes, huh? Because mm -hmm. it's real diesel, right? Yep. That's right. So that's the. I was told him. I said I'm gonna put a sticker on it. It says Matterpillar instead of Caterpillar, and that's where Matterpillar came from. So the trailer is 100% uh, from scratch. We built it. It's a uh, aluminum outside rails, steel inner rails that are blue, and uh, walking beam suspension. Go kart tires and wheels. There's your bearing for your walking beam suspension. Custom made toolboxes that actually work. Built those by hand. Neighbor of ours welded up the corners of the aluminum for me. So I don't I don't weld aluminum or stainless. So he actually did that for us, friend of ours. Uh what's the fastest this thing goes? 30 miles per hour. Sometimes loaded, um, always unloaded. <laughs> It'll do 30 miles an hour. It takes a little bit to get there. 29 to be exact, but uh, we geared it as low as possible. That's a 10 and a half inch sprocket, 52 tooth. The tires are 11 inch, so it can't go much bigger. It'd be hitting the ground. Uh, we've actually had 1,250 pounds on the trailer before, max weight. Uh, we've never had more than that, but we've definitely had close to that and less that at all times. Pulling people around the shows, several adults and kids on there at all times. The name we Pete. That actually came from because we built this truck to look like our truck, right? Mm -hmm. And so instead of repeat, we said we peak because it's small. So everything's legit. All the lights work. Everything works. Train horns. Everything my truck has, it's got. The uh, fuel tanks are actually rigid air tanks off a compressor. This side actually is a dummy. Nothing that doesn't nothing goes to it. It's got six inch stack clamps to, for ta fuel tank straps. That one is actually plumbed in for the air. So that's your air hose right there. Those are your train horns. So that's about it, huh, Rooster? Mm -hmm. What else can we tell them about it? The oh yeah, the front fenders. Those, that, the interior was a new addition. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw it before, but there is actually wood floors in it that match my truck. The same exact flooring. So, um, but anyways, the front fenders, I have aftermarket um, Jones fenders on my truck. They have the drop lip with the American Eagle to match. These are actually the bottoms of feed buckets. Cut the bottoms out, radiused it the way we needed it to match the radius of the bumper. So, with all that mumbo jumbo jazz out of the way, huh? You want to do a little cruise? Yeah. All right, hop in, fire it up, and we'll do a video of you leaving. Well, actually, I was going to pause it, but we'll get him starting it. So that's actually a decompression valve over there, the lever. See that lever? Pull that lever out, Rooster. Pull that out, and that's actually the decompression valve right here. Hit it again, Rooster. So that's the top of the head there. So that opens the valves up. So go ahead and open up. Yep. So when he pulls out going down the road, it actually acts as Jake, Jake brakes. Leaves the valves open. That's how you have to start it and kill it because it's mechanical motor fuel. You know, there's no electronic ignition. So, anyways, here we go. He's gonna start it. Ooh, too early. Gotta get it spinning good. Hit it again. Get it, get it, get it. All right, so we'll actually do this part of the video. So, <laughs> the battery is dead right now. I don't have enough to turn it over. It's only 11.4 volts. But I was going to show you, if I can get to it, there's the plug for this guy. So we plug this in and then we'll be able to jump it. So the, the cables, you can actually hook up to another vehicle or like my truck. We'll plug it into my truck or hook it up to my truck so you can run off my batteries. Play in the stereo, but otherwise we just throw it on a charger, hook up the clamps. Should have fire in the hole. Yep. There it is. And then we just come over here, just down here. I'm plugging. All right, you're good. You might make that turn. Yeah, I think it's good. It turns pretty 
good. See if we can get him coming by with the jakes. I bet he throws on the jakes. I think that's about shaking. I'm moving the camera too much. There they are. Oh yeah, he threw them on. <laughs> Thanks.